on high like it when you love it on me. I don't wanna die for them to miss me. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Um, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a grit, you know. You posting on here since Mother's Day, you know. But I'm back. I'm about to start posting daily. I got to. Can't, can't procrastinate. So let's get it. Um, what I'm gonna be doing today is just speaking on my mom. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So, hope a lot of y'all know in Philly, around the world, you know, it's been a lot going on. You know, school shootings, things happening, things going on, you know. And I just want to speak on it. It's like, since I've spoke, spoken two months ago on it, as I was saying, and I hope, I know as a lot of y'all think, a lot of grown-ups, a lot of us teenagers growing in to be men and grown women, we know that things that go on out here is never going to change, like I was saying. Cause it's a hurtful and harmful world like i was saying so all we got to do is just keep moving on as innocent people not trying to be in with that mess you know trying to move on trying to go to college if we're not in school trying to work trying to get things started if you're doing youtube if you're if you're a photographer taking pictures if you're just doing that you're doing something with your life because that's what your talent is i just started this about two months ago you know along with shanice we you know we started this you know but um, since then, it's just been a lot going on, you know. I've been going through some hard times. Mistakes I've made then and now. Mistakes I shouldn't have made, but I ain't making them again, you know. But um, just yesterday, you know, Sunday. Well, on Sunday, yeah, because it ain't Tuesday, my fault. On Sunday, um, there's a shooting with a family. Um... Him and his wife just got married. They was young. They was like about, she was like 23. He had to been about 20, 24. He, he was in his 20s. She, and she was 23 and they had their child in the car. There was about 18, 18 shots going on, you know. And they all got wounded. The good thing is nobody is dead. I didn't hear about the father. I, hope, I think he's all right as well. But the mother and the child, they're, um, they're wounded, you know. But they're living. And I, um prayed on that. I just hope they get better. hope everything gets right. But it just shows that everybody in this era, they want to use guns in anything. It can be a fight. You can be in a store. You can just be driving innocent and, they, and people just want to come up there to you and shoot you. It's like the father who got killed with his son. He got shot up. When they ain't die, I think the child is doing fine. But still, you shoot him for nothing. He came up to the car, he was chilling with his son in, in the car, in the passenger seat. He must have held him, I think, or they was in the passenger seat, but he had came in. The guy came up and shot him. Shot the um child. Child got hit right here in the side, I think in the chest as well. Father got hit up about eight times. That was sad. Um, it's just, it just shows that us as black people, we don't care. We don't care about ourselves, obviously. We want to kill our own people. But no matter what, yeah, we might say, yeah, black, black lives matter. But look what we doing. Black lives don't matter, obviously. We still doing what we doing. I care about everybody. I have no choice but to care about everybody. Because nobody cared about us black people back in slavery. Slavery, they didn't care. They did us in any type of way. So speaking on that as well, going into that, what Kanye said, um, I don't know what's going on with Bull. He lost all respect from me. I ain't got no respect for him. Even though I didn't listen to all his music like that anyway. But the point is, for you to say that we chose to be slaves, you're delusional. Something wrong with you. You off something. It's something, something got to be wrong with you. It's for you to think that we chose to be slaves. So, for him to say that just shows he has no type of mindset at all. Something wrong with you. But the point is, we didn't choose to be slaves. We didn't. To be honest, nobody wants to speak on that. I'm sure plenty of people know. In that century, you had an option. There was no choice to be a slave. You had no option. What am I talking about? You had no option. You had to be a slave. Well, of course, they would kill you anyway. But in that century, we had no choice. Like, it was guaranteed you were going to be a slave. 
unless you was like probably in a high, high, you know, high class like them. But if you was below, if you was poor, you were going to be a slave. I and mean, that's sad to say. So that's why I'm glad things have changed, but things haven't changed because it's still racism going on today and it's going to continue to go on. You know what I'm saying? Ku Klux Klan is still around. Many people don't know that. They're still around. But I don't respect that. I just want to show that I am on us as a black man growing into a grown man. Us as a black man. Us as black people. I want to show that I'm here for you. It's about us. This is our time. Okay? And I just want to show that we can just make it out here. So everybody that's graduating this year, you know, shout out to all my um, all my real friends out there, all the bros, you know, for us graduating last year. We did it. We did what we had to do. We made it. Throughout whatever the school was going through, you know, we made it. We made it out of there. And we still have it. We still live it. We being safe out here. We carrying ourselves very good. We have jobs. Got our licenses. I ain't got mine yet, but I'm about to get mine. But we driving. We doing a lot of things, you know, to show that us black people is not stupid. We, that we don't sit around just smoking weed all day. Even though if you do that and you still doing something, you chilling. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying. There's more things to do than just smoking. You know what I'm saying? And I got, I had to just um back off from that because I was about to get into that more. I, I can't be into that like that for real. That's not my mindset. I want to make it out here. Like, I would rather be in school right now. To be honest, I'm not even in school. I'm just working, doing YouTube. Like, and at the same time, going through stuff as well, you know. Because my parents want to see me succeed. You know. Even though they don't really want me here, they would rather me be in college right now. But they still accept the fact that I'm doing something. That I'm trying to do something. But they want me to try more. Other than YouTube. And just work. And that's what I got to do. That's what I want to do anyway. I want to do more. I would like to do film. I would like to act. So I'm still going to try to get into all that. Things not going to change. But, um, how y'all day going? I hope it's going good. You know, it's a rainy day. You know, yesterday was real nice, but today, you know, God said y'all got to calm it down a little bit. Because as soon as the summer come, it's a wreck. Everybody going to be drawing. Especially in Philly. You know how I get down here. So, I just want all y'all to be safe out here. You know, be, you know, careful of your surroundings, no matter who you with, family members, your bros, your girlfriends, for all y'all, just be safe, no matter what. So, moving on with that, um, back to the situation, you know, what's been going on with the world, um, in Texas, a school shooting happened again. So, what's up with this? What's up with, what's up with people going in there to shoot? Of a school. I can understand, even though I can't, that's not right either. It's very sad, you know, in the past until now as well, kids have gone in, you know, because they've gotten tired, you know, of being bullied or messed with. And they've gotten tired and they just lost it and said, forget it, you know. And just going to schools and shoot shoot everybody up. But recently, it's people, that's, it's people that's just doing it for fun just to do it. Like, that's not a thing. That's not good. It's, it's very sad. You're very sick and there's something wrong with you. For you to just go into a high school or any school, elementary, kindergarten, preschool, it don't matter. For you to go into any school and shoot up innocent people. It's not right. You deserve it for what you get coming to you. You do. Because there ain't no way in my right mind. I don't have the heart to go into a store and rob anything. I don't have heart to hurt people. I don't have the heart to kill anybody. Yeah, I may talk tough, but I ain't really going to do nothing. Yeah, I, I'll fight if I have to. Because you're not just going to just put your hands on me and think you're just going to run me. It ain't about to happen like that. But the point is, always take a stand. Always stand on your two feet. Stand firm. I mean, everybody know that. You know. But this school shooting stuff going on, it's not there. It's not it. It's very sad. Because these people, that these innocent children, these innocent teenagers like me, that's in school, trying to grow, trying to make something happen. They there. They try, They was there. But you ruined it because you want to kill somebody. Just like the shooting in Las Vegas last year. What's wrong with you? You shooting up innocent people that's just trying to have fun in a concert. Or going to the movies or going to have fun. Whatever they was doing. You decided to go. 
and just shoot at the whole half of Las Vegas, you know, while everybody was in the, well, it was, they couldn't have gone safe because they out in the open. So he, he knew how to do it. He knew he was going to get them. And he did. He did have them. A lady actually, um, got, I think she got shot in the uh, head. I think she lost an eye. She, she got shot in the eye. Yeah, they showed it on the news. A lady with, I think a couple girl, girls, that, um, a couple grown women that got shot, that got wounded. They living though. That's the good thing. But it just, it ended in the wrong way. They got wounded bad. It's very sad, but the good thing is they still here living, living on with their life. But I know that's very sad and hurtful to them and frustrating that they gotta go through. A girl gotta go through a missing eye. A girl gotta go through a scar, you know, through her chest because she got shot there, you know, and then she had to get surgery, but she made it. So it's like, you know, I just want better for this world. I really want to change. I do. That's why I get. If I can change the world, I do it. I would bring, try to bring everybody together, especially in my city. Everybody. We need to be as one. If we ain't as one, of course, that's why you're going to see everything happen. Things are going to break. People are going to be shooting each other. Our own people. People are going to be fighting, fighting each other. Our own people. We have to be as one. If you're not as one, results is going to be the same. And, as it, and until people understand it, things will be the same. It's that simple. Look who we got in the office. I'm going to keep going to that. Look who we have in the office. There's no way in a million years I would have thought anybody like Donald Trump would be in the office. I don't support him. For Kanye's trying to support him, thinking he's doing good for us, he's not. He could push that button anytime in a nuclear bomb. A nuclear bomb could be heading our way because he want to mess with a country who think they ain't, he think they ain't going to do nothing. A country like Korea. A country like Russia. You think they ain't got nuclear bombs? They got nuclear bombs bigger than ours. They can wipe out our whole city. And he don't even understand it. He don't care. Because like Eminem said on BET Hip Hop Awards in that cypher, he gonna be flying around in his little helicopter, in his little plane, until the bombing stops. So he gonna be the only one safe. Everybody else, we gone. We dead. And he ain't gonna care. He just wants to try to speak on it after, after everything is destroyed in a city or a country. An innocent country, an innocent city because of your foolishness. Because you, your whole point was to rule, thinking you rule in some anyway. You're racist. You're disrespectful to women. You don't care about innocent people. You don't care about what the poor is going through. You don't care about what the middle class is going through. You only care about your class. Your class, of, which, is, which is your family, your high class, which is bougie and stuck up. You don't care. And I want him going. I'm dead serious. I'm tired of him. Because he's causing stress. And looking over the fact that innocent people is dying. Looking over the fact that whites, blacks, Hispanic, foreign, anything, in any type of culture is getting killed. Innocent. People are fighting each other for no reason. Getting killed almost for no reason. Going to jail for this for no reason. Another black man locked up. But nobody wants to understand it. They want to overlook it. It's time to make a change. It's time. You know, people going to live on still overlooking the fact that, you know, oh, oh, he just talking. But he probably doing the same thing. No, I'm not. I actually, if I don't even know you, I'm going to call you my bro. Because I want us to be close as brothers. We have to come together. Why, why am I going to look at him a certain way if I don't know him? What if, what if you just say what's up to him? They might make his day. He might be going through something. You got to think about that. You all girls out here. Why don't y'all see how I hide to a girl? Why don't you try to get to know her? Y'all might become close friends. Stop acting all booze. Stop acting all stuck up. Stop gossiping. Stop gossiping about people. Stop fighting each other over dumb stuff. Coming to that. This on the news, my dad had told me, you know, on Sunday, a, a girl and his boyfriend got into an argument. It was on the news, he said. They had got into an argument. So, of course, knowing him, he thought it was just going to be a regular argument, probably. They was just going to get over it because their girlfriend and boyfriend, you know, he went home. She goes she goes and tells, you know, whoever these guys were, probably her cousins or somebody related, related to her or friends or something. She goes and tells them to go and stab him. Go and kill him. So they go to his door. 
So he opens the door. He probably was thinking, oh, you know, some regular ain't nothing really going to happen. They probably just won't want to talk or something. No, they stabbed him to death. Now he's dead because of an argument with a girl. He was going He was going to go on with his life. He was about to be in art. He was about to go to an art school. Now he's gone because of an argument with a girl. And she wrong as well. So you going to send somebody to go kill him? What did he do to you? Even though I don't know about that. But what did he say that was so wrong to you? What did he do to you that was so wrong? Because on the news, they said he really didn't do nothing. It was an argument. A regular argument that probably half of y'all that's cuffed out here had with y'all boyfriends or y'all girlfriends. And that led to something else. Her trying, her probably crazy in the mind anyway. Going to go send somebody to go stick him up. And they did. Now he's gone for nothing. And now their lives are ruined for something stupid. Why would you even go listen to her to go and kill somebody? Well, because you believe what she said. And I guarantee you they probably wasn't related. It was just her just going to find find some people. Just to go and stick him up for nothing. And that's a shame. Ain't no way I'm getting killed for no girl. I'm not getting killed for no nobody. Nothing. Because it ain't worth it. I know how to stay out. I'm out the way. I'm laid back. I'm the easiest person you probably can get cool with. I'm out the way. I don't have no type of thing against anybody. I don't have hate towards anybody. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. And I hope y'all cherish that and keep moving on with life and keep striving. As, especially as, as us black. But for everybody in any culture, white, I want all y'all to succeed. Everybody. Y'all all just stay safe out here. Keep moving. Keep grinding. Keep making it. Don't go into that prison system. Don't go into the system of trying to be something you're not. Don't go into that way. Stay in what you're doing right now. Keep on moving on and succeeding. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm not letting nobody deter me. Nobody. I'm going to keep moving on. I have no choice but to move on. I have a family where everybody succeeds, but I have a family where things happen as well. So there might be a couple people in my family that might not be succeeding. That's the bad in here. But no matter what, we family. I got to love them no matter what. And it's, it could be my part to bring them up from there, to talk to them, you know? So I hope y'all um, just took, took something from this. Like I said, be safe out here. Most importantly, be you. I'm going to always be me. I can't be something I can't be. Because in the end, it's going to show. And it's going to lead you into doing something that you really don't want to do. And it's going to show your true colors that you're really a nice guy or a nice girl anyway. So be you. Succeed. Be safe out here. It's your boy Jay. Jay's the man. Stand up. Let's get it. I'm out. Man. God's plan. I hope that sometimes I won't. I feel good sometimes.